Joe and I went to Mar-a-Lago to meet personally with President-elect Trump. It was the first time we have seen him in seven years. Now, we talked about a lot of issues, including abortion, mass deportation, threats of political retribution against political opponents and media outlets. We talked about that a good bit. And it's going to come as no surprise to anybody who watches this show, has watched it over the past year or over the past decade, that we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of issues. And we told him so. What we did agree on was to restart communications. For nearly 80 million Americans, election denialism, public trials, and January 6th were not as important as the issues that moved them to send Donald Trump back to the White House with their vote. Joe and I realize it's time to do something different, and that starts with not only talking about Donald Trump, but also talking with Let him. me break this down to you. Joe and Mika have to find a way to get back in Donald Trump's good graces. You know why? MSNBC, the ratings are tanking you all. They have lost over half of their audience. Joe and Mika and Donald Trump, they've been friends a long time. Yeah, they fell out because of some personal things that went on and then Donald Trump ultimately ran for office. If you know, um, Joe uh, Scarborough used to be a congressman. Uh, so. He used to donate to Joe's campaign. They were friends, you know, close friends for a long time. If you go online, you'll find some pictures of all of them together. But they fell out with Donald Trump because they never wanted Donald Trump to become the president because he would have too much power. Now, it wasn't like he was going to use the power against them because they were all cool. But see, in politics, they like it to be classism. The political class and the business class, right? And the worker class. They don't like you to cross over. Mm -mm, they don't like that. See, the political class wants to remain in control over every other class. And so now the business class that used to fund their political campaigns now becomes the political class, like in the case of Donald Trump. They don't like that. So they fought every way they could. That's why if you notice the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, the political class, they were not for Donald Trump. No, they fought hard. It wasn't just Democrats. Republicans were fighting hard against Donald Trump. But they were not fighting hard against Donald Trump for any other main reason other than they never want the business class to move into the political class. Because the political class wants to be in control of you. Don't you ever forget that. Now... They have no choice. This guy went through being shot at twice, once hit in the ear. Um, every kind of lawfare they could try to put him in jail. Um, cases, whether they were cases that had some bearing on the truth or whether they trumped him up, it didn't matter to them. However, we can get you from not running. The only reason they stopped those cases, everybody, is because they found out putting those cases on him made him more popular. The guy knew how to flip it. So now they are begging Donald Trump to let us back in with you because he has control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency. He can do whatever he wants to. So you're worried about and wondering about those people getting confirmed that he, he's choosing and people are going against some of his um, people that he's trying to get confirmed. What they all know is that having the presidency, the House, and the Senate means that even if you decide not to confirm some of their people, they're going to have the power of all of the levers of power that allows them to investigate everybody else. So let's say they don't want to um, confirm some of Donald Trump's uh, picks. What keeps them, Donald Trump, from investigating the people that's trying not to confirm his people? And they know that. So look for most of his people to get confirmed. Most of them, if not all of them, are going to get confirmed because he got the trifecta. He got the House. He got the Senate. And he got the White House.